Well, it's the time of the year where most people are putting up their garden equipment and calling the growing season O-V-E-R over, but not before the last harvest of the season. Now, one community garden is putting all their hard work to great use. Our Tavarius Haywood has a story. I'm here at Westside Orchard Garden, where folks here are gearing up for their biggest event of the year. Fresh corn, carrots, and everything else under the sun that you can grow will be given away at the garden's annual last harvest tomorrow. Love to share it. Mike Dalton, garden supervisor, says almost 200 hardworking children from the Boys and Girls Club, the Rescue Mission, and the Salvation Army have been waiting all summer for this very moment. Seeing children eat healthier and being able to educate them on how to be self-sustainable gives him a peace of mind. As a father and a grandfather, it makes me smile. Mike says even though hundreds of different types of food are grown each year, none of it is ever wasted. When it's time to harvest, they take it back to their kitchens and their facilities and they make their own salads. They learn how to take zucchini squash and mix it in with their spaghetti. Um, and then when there's extra food, and there always is, then they take that home to their families. Dalton says what he has learned in his almost 10 years is once you get children involved and excited about growing and eating healthier foods, they are bound to make better decisions when they become adults. When at that young age, they know that there is an alternative food for snacks and it's not something's packaged and sugared, instead it's something that's healthy, rich, then for the rest of their lives, they can make a choice, they will make a choice. Do I want some sugared food or do I want that vegetable or that fruit that I really like? But it's up to us grown-ups to instill that passion in our little ones. Amazing the number of kids say, you know, my grandpa showed me how to do this, or I remember when my grandma would take me to her garden. So there's that ancestral influence of, um, they're really glad to be here as the next generation. Reporting in Great Falls, I'm Tavares Haywood.